Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg. This is the second guided meditation on fear. Like I shared before, we all sit with anxiety and fear. It's a very, very typical feeling that we all share. It's a shared experience. And there's so much to say about it because it is definitely a feeling that inhibits us. It gets in the way, it gets us stuck. And sometimes when we feel stuck, there's no movement, no change, no progress. In times, especially when there's a lot of stress and uncertainty, we're more likely to be more anxious and fearful. But having the mindset that failure is not an option and that everything that we do throughout our day is a segue into our strength and our resilience will help to facilitate and negate that fear. And sometimes our fears are very genuine. It's based on fact, like living in uncertain times right now, it's a fact. Although there's hopefulness about the future to come, there's still the uncertainty of what will be. So being curious about that, letting it sit, seeing how you think and feel in regards to your fear, how you're prompted to react to it, how you cope, how you adapt to it. All of that is such important information to help you towards growth. So if you could sit up straight and if you feel comfortable enough, if you could close your eyes, And as you're closing your eyes, to remember that fear is temporary, regret is forever. So if we find ourselves stuck or immobile, we will be able to persevere. We will be able to move forward. And I want you to be in a relaxed state to imagine being able to really feel your breath deep within your chest. And just to feel your body right here, right now, whatever's showing up, to allow it to just be, to be compassionate towards yourself and give yourself the space to allow whatever thoughts and feelings to show up. And to understand and acknowledge that thinking will never overcome fear. The only thing that overcomes fear is the willingness to take action and to be proactive. And Val Keelan says, fear does not stop death, it stops life. We get stopped in our tracks because of worry, anticipation. And Susan Jeffers says, feel the fear and do it anyway.
So think about how fear shows up in your mind and body when it does. It could show up somatically, or you could feel it in your chest, or your shoulders, or your neck. And imagine that being there, but still moving forward and making progress. And have some imagery or thought on where you want to go. What that would look like if you moved past the fear, if you made movements. And Robin Sharma says, the beautiful thing about fear is when to, you run to it, it runs away. And Tim Ferriss says, sometimes what we fear the most is what we most need to do. It's the area in our lives, the space, that we most need to put effort into and challenge ourselves. And again, just holding the image of where you want to go. Imagine courage, what courage looks like to you, bravery and courage. It could be strong, a strong body or a strong mind. It could be confidence, it could be compassion. And feel that in your body. Feel the strength, exude it, act upon it. And take a moment to acknowledge and take pride in your willingness to tap into that. getting on the other side of fear and exuding that strength that bravery that compassion and feel the pride the elatedness Breathe in pride and breathe out fear and breathe in pride and breathe out fear and one more time breathe in pride and breathe out fear and when I count to three and when you're ready you could open your eyes one two, and three. I believe in you wholeheartedly and unconditionally. Thank you. <laughs>